so uh, this is this is it seems like everything comes from dreams with me um, and w generally what I do in my studio practices at a certain point I will realize that I'm kind of spinning my wheels and I'm not being as productive and maybe like the quality of the work that I'm doing isn't really meeting my standard and so I'll shut everything down and I'll go to my bed and I'll lay in my bed and I'll plant a seed in my brain. Um, this is the problem that I'm trying to solve right now. And then I'll just meditate on that. I don't necessarily fall asleep, but I'll just keep meditating on that ideal and I'll play visualize in my brain um, the problem and the solution comes to me. So uh, in the first week of the, of the lockdown, I've been in lockdown since uh, the middle of March. Uh, because of issues with my indetectable status, uh, my viral load has gone up. Um, uh, I'm no longer indetectable, just over the line. And so I have to be very careful right now. So I locked down a little bit earlier than uh, most people. And I started tearing paper on my walls and everything. Um, and then I created this larger square piece, which is now, uh, hopefully this is visible because of the reflective quality of it. So this is yeah, a... Looks good. 28 uh, inches wide. Um, I want to show you the back side of this as well. Um, oh, I forgot that camera is over here. Sorry about that, Leo. Um, and uh, this is the back side of the paper. So you could see how that uh, the richness of the colors kind of come through on the back side as well. Um, so this piece, this particular piece is in process. I've only, I, th there's probably about 50 to 100 layers of, um, of uh, varnish on this. And then um, in terms of the um, epoxy, I, I've just applied one layer so far. Um, and uh, uh, fortunately, a friend of mine has more epoxy because uh, I'm running low and the stores are, of course, closed. Um, so he has a ton of epoxy that he's going to allow me to use. 